Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has today begun the fiscal phase. Uh, well, it was actually yesterday. Today is Tuesday. There's a way I keep losing count. I mean, the days and the, uh, and the times of day, I mean, it's something very funny with me these days. Well, INEC has begun this physical phase of its continuous voters registration exercise across the country. INEC says after four weeks it, since it commenced the online pre-registration of voters on the 28th June 2021, over 1 million Nigerians have registered and as of yesterday, the number of new registrants have now risen to 1,600,661. Nigerians who pre-registered online can now complete their registration at those centers based on scheduled appointments. In addition, other Nigerians who prefer to register physically and in person can now do so at those centers. You can see on your screen the breakdown. Whatever state you may be in the country, uh, where you've done your exercise, you're prob probably captured in those numbers that you see there. And the breakdown is further there for you to see the number of females, the number of males, the breakdown of how it's gone down. I've already given you an idea of who my next guest is. Let's look at him now. He's uh, the National Commissioner in Charge of Voter Education and Publicity at INEC, Mr. Festus Okoye. Thank you so much, Mr. Okoye, for joining us tonight. Um, uh, you remember, you know, I told you that I'll keep disturbing you as long as this exercise goes on because Nigerians need to be educated and informed about some of these processes because it's the right of citizens to go to the, uh, to the polling unit and vote. And to do that, you have to register. So give us a sense of this physical phase. So whoever has done his online registration on the portal that um, uh, we checked with you when you came into our Abuja studio and did the demonstration. So anybody now can go, any of those people, any of these over 1 million people, 1.6 million, can now work into your offices. Which of the offices is it the state, the local government areas? Uh, well, uh, uh, what we have done is that um, the over 1 million uh, uh, persons who have registered uh, uh, who have pre-registered with our online uh, registration portal have been scheduled. Uh, so each registrant uh, has a day uh, within which he or she can approach any of our state or local government offices and complete the registration exercise or registration. Um, uh, so I didn't have any conference with um, the chairman. And, and as you are aware, the commission meets uh, on Thursdays. Uh, so the commission has not met uh, to take any decision or to look into any other issue relating to uh, uh, the Anambra governorship election. Uh, so as of today, uh, the position is that the list of uh, uh, the, the, the personal particulars of candidates as uploaded by the commission on the 16th day of July uh, still remains. But let me, let, me, let me just say this. There is no judicial division of the federal high court or the state high court uh, uh, or the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory in the Independent National Electoral Commission. Two, the Independent National Electoral Commission is not a court of law and has no adjudicatory powers. Third, the issue of the conduct of party primaries is within the domestic realm of political parties. And political parties are also enjoined to conform uh, to the provisions of Section 87 of the Electoral Act in the conduct of their party primaries. So I think that it is incumbent on political parties uh, to use their own internal rules and internal mechanisms and internal guidelines to resolve their party challenges and their party problems. Under Section 285 of the Constitution, uh, uh, under Section 287 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Independent National Electoral Commission is an institution that respects the rule of law uh, and due process. And we have been enjoined by the Constitution to enforce the judgments and orders and decisions of course of competent jurisdiction uh, anywhere in Nigeria. And this particular commission will continue uh, to respect court orders and also enforce court orders so long as those court orders relate uh, to the functions and the uh, powers of the Independent National Electoral Commission. Uh, so if there are new court orders that have come in, 
if there are new judgments that have come in, at the appropriate time and within the confines of the guidelines and rules and procedures of the commission, uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission, we meet, look at these judgments, and if the judgments are clear and we understand what the courts have asked us to do, definitely right. we, will, we will comply because uh, we, we are not a court of law and we, um, uh, we don't have adjudicate adjudicatory powers. So the only powers we have yeah. is to enforce the decisions and judgments of courts. So let's get it clearly. So nothing has changed. Professor Soludo and Senator Gotukuba are not on your register as we speak. They are not on the INEC candidate list. Yes or no? As, as, we, speak, as we speak today, no. But the commission, I'm, I'm aware that uh, some court orders uh, have come in. And at the appropriate time, during the commission's meeting, we will look at some of these court orders and understand what we have been asked to do. And we will definitely comply All with right. valid court orders served on the commission. There is another beyond, there are leadership issues. Uh, APGA has it. Um, and uh, there is also the Action Alliance. Earlier on uh, in the day, we spoke with Mr. Ken Udeze, the National Chairman of Action Alliance. I want you to listen to him, uh, Mr. Uh, Okoye, and respond to some of the grievances of Mr. Udeze and the AA. Take a listen to him. My position has often been, have been challenged since I emerged as the National Chairman of this party in 2017. They took me to Federal High Court in Oshobo, challenging my emergence. We won that case in Oshobo. But the matter was virtually transferred from Oshobo to um, Abuja, where Justice Taiwood struck out the case challenging my emergence as a national chairman. They still went through some of their cohorts and, uh, and instituted another matter in the Federal High Court in the case of Chitundani Fawoshi Kilani against Vice Kenneth Tudeza and one other. And the matter was dismissed because when we put up our defense, the man quickly came and withdrew the matter. Now they went to Jabi, where they purported, where they said they want to, they were asking the court to order me not to parade myself as the national chairman of the party. And Justice Abaza threw out their matter by dismissing it for want of evidence. And when issues of um, elections were coming, like Odo and, uh, Edo and Ondo that just passed, we feed their candidate, which INEC did not take, and we challenged that matter in court. But because there is a matter before Justice Binta Muhammad that we couldn't get judgment before the end of that uh, election matter, uh, the matter went the way it went, the court declined jurisdiction and said the matter should be heard in FCT High Court. But this time around, we have decided to go to FCT High Court to challenge the illegal removal of the name of our subsisting and legitimate candidate in the person of Mr. John Iko Toyo Kechupu from, the, from, from contesting the election. So we're in court, and I believe with uh, all the subsisting judgments of the court we have, INEC cannot escape it this time. Uh, our next step is clear. Just like I've, I've told you, as a matter of fact, the, the, matter, uh, the, the case file is CU stroke uh, 1734 stroke 2021, which is the case we have filed. And since we have subjected ourselves to the court, uh, there's nothing else we can do than to wait for the law. Because we know strongly that the mill of justice grinds slowly, but surely justice must be done. And not until justice begins to flow like a river, we cannot stop from defending our right. As far as we are concerned, my leadership remains the authentic leadership of Action Alliance, widely recognized all over Nigeria. And as far as we are concerned, nobody can intimidate us out of office. That is one thing I want to assure Nigerians. Um, you, are, you already know, right from uh, the time I emerged as the national chairman of this party, within, between 2017 and 2018, I was elected the national legal advisor of Interparty Advisory Council, which I have virtually come in this year's program. Nigerians know who the chairman is, but the action of few stars of INEC who have decided to collaborate with external politicians, external forces, to come and put confusion in AA, it cannot work. Now we have built the ship. Everybody wants to climb into the ship. This party was registered in 2005, August, and from that moment till date, he does not won any election apart from the election we won in 2019, when, when we produced 10 legislative seats, eight, uh, eight House of Assembly, and two House of Rep. Now everybody feels that the, the, the land is becoming green and you want to come and hijack the party. I'm looking at them at their face to tell them they cannot take away this party from the masses that own it. That's Ken Undeze earlier on. Mr. Okoye, your reaction to what he said? One, exclusion to recognition of his leadership. Well, uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission is not a political party. We are not going to micromanage any political party. If political parties have issues 
If political parties have problems, if political parties have challenges, they should use their own internal mechanisms uh, to deal with some of those challenges. Um, from what he has said, you can see that they have suits in, um, in various courts of law. Uh, so it is within their own competence uh, to resolve those, uh, those, those, those matters. Um, uh, so so I, do, I don't think that it is right, it is correct uh, for any political party uh, to drive the commission into its internal problems and into its own internal challenges. Uh, we would rather advise that they should resolve their problems. The moment they resolve their problems, the commission will not have a problem with their leadership. But the truth of the matter is that it is not right and it is not correct uh, for political parties to, that have problems Rather than resolve their problems, they come and dump the problems in the Independent National Electoral Commission and then, then drag the commission into their own internal issues and into their own internal problems. No, no individual, and, and I think uh, some of the leaders of the political parties make this mistake. No individual constitutionally owns a political party. But some of the leaders of the political parties, when they talk, they say, my party, my party, constitutionally, the party belongs to the people, and it is within the constitutional realm for there to be a change in leadership every four years. Every four years, you must renew your leadership of the party. You must renew your, um, uh, um, your hold on the party. So the moment you begin to see the party as your own, you now begin to feel that any challenge to your leadership uh, is a challenge to the party, which will not be the case. So our appeal and our uh, uh, resolve is that political parties that have internal issues, that have internal challenges, should resolve their political problems, should resolve their internal issues using their own internal mechanisms uh, because uh, the commission is a regulatory agency and uh, a regulatory commission and uh, will not replace any political party and will not micromanage any political party. All right. Uh, we, we're due to close now. So invariably, INEC could not be enlisting AA in the Anambra governorship election? Well, well I, I think that it's very, very clear for, uh, uh, from what he said that they have issues and they are already in court. When they resolve their matters in court, uh, whatever the court uh, 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 decides, definitely the, 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 the commission will comply. All right. Mr. Fasos Okoye, National Commissioner with INEC in charge of voter education and publicity, is always a pleasure. Our deal is not over, not until the uh, CVR is over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll still find a way of bringing you back to the studio. Thank you so much, my friend, Mr. Festus Okoye. <laughs>